Such was the beginning of the end of Troy. On that sad day, her shining shores were ravaged by the savage thunder of a thousand ships, carrying the kings and princes of Greece, led by Agamemnon, king of Mycenae, like Charon leading the dead across the river Styx into the jaws of Hydes. Hail Odysseus, and well met. We've got the Trojans on the run. We? You, King Agamemnon, stayed in the safety of your ship. Achilles, ships. mind your tongue, Achilles. We all answer to my brother, Agamemnon. Never mind him, Menelaus. Achilles forgets that some men are built for combat, some to lead. And some are so... What would you have us do, King Agamemnon? I'm relying on all of you to secure the area around our future camp. Waste no time. Now, brother, we must see about the unloading of our ships. There is much to be done. Listen, there are a number of positions we must secure if we are to defend this area. Trojans! Agamemnon thinks he can order me to do his bidding. Agamemnon leads at the request of Menelaus. We are bound by oath to serve him. Reinforcements! <laughs> 
brought Troy to her knees. Now, the might of all the Greeks has descended upon them, and they will not withstand us! What glory is there in claiming this dirt? Achilles, we can't protect our camps without holding this ground. Ah! This way leads us nowhere. These are easy victories compared to what lies in store for us. We Greeks never shirk a challenge. We yearn for it. It sustains us. It makes us Greek. More Trojan blood to be spilled! We need your help! Agamemnon's camps when there are countless cities awaiting conquest. You did not take the oath, so you may do as you like. We all have a duty to fulfill. Oh! <laughs> 
Trojan sheep yearning for slaughter! <laughs> Enemy reinforcements are approaching! We cannot let them retain our positions. Trojan sheep yearning for slaughter! <laughs> Reinforcements are approaching! Not that we will take our positions. <laughs> Why would the kings of the Ithacans, Myrmidones, Salaminioi, Mykanaioi, and many more set sail in a thousand ships to lay siege against the fair city of Troy? It was in Sparta, many years ago, that the spark was lit. Those same kings were assembled together not to wage war, but to compete for the love of the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen daughter of Tyndarios, king of Sparta. It seems you have a problem to solve, King Tyndarios. Ah, welcome, my friend, Bodiceos, king of Utica. Indeed, I do. I am to choose one of them to be my daughter's husband. But I'm afraid that once I make my choice... The others might feel cheated and cause trouble. Indeed. 
I have refused all their gifts. I show no undue preference. I cannot send them away for fear of losing friendships and creating enemies. Happily, I am not part of your problem. My heart is already taken by Penelope. Have you asked my brother for his daughter's hand? I may need your help in that regard. Next challenger! These games won't decide who wins Helen's hand. She has asked me to choose Menelaus. I do not want to refuse her. What can I do? I think I may have the solution to your problem. But in return, I need your help persuading your brother to relinquish the hand of the lovely Penelope. <laughs> Always the schemer, Odysseus. <laughs> If you can help secure a peaceful marriage for my Helen, then I will intercede in your name for Penelope's hand. It's very simple. What you need is an oath. An oath? To be given by all of them, before you announce your choice. Ah, an oath. What kind of an oath? I swear before the princes of the world and the Olympians in the sky. I swear before the princes of the world and the Olympians in the sky. To protect the marriage of Helen, Queen of Sparta, no matter who shall be her husband. To protect the marriage of Helen, Queen of Sparta, no matter who shall be her husband. So were the kings of Greece tricked into peace by a simple oath. Menelaus, you are my husband. And the gods laughed at these simple acts of men, for they knew that within that simple oath was so the tragedy that would launch the thousand ships.